The Kirov class, Soviet designation Project 1144 Orlan, is a class of nuclear powered guided missile cruisers of the former Soviet Navy and current Russian Navy. In the West, the ships of this class are often referred to as battle cruisers. This is mainly due to the fact that their size and appearance were similar to the World War II era battleships. The Kirov class was designed to protect the Soviet fleet from American carrier task force. The basic idea was to have a platform that had a solid air defense system and lethal anti-ship capability. When the first of the Kirov class got deployed in 1980, it represented a credible threat to U.S. Navy. The seriousness of the imminent danger from Kirov was so great that it played a role in the recommissioning of the Iowa-class battleships by the United States Navy in the 1980s. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how potent is the Russian Kirov class? Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s which you can take to battle on land, in the air and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus which will grant you a free premium tank or aircraft and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. The original plan intended to construct five ships. The plan for construction of a fifth vessel was abandoned on the 4th of October 1990. The warships are Admiral Yushikov, Admiral Lazarev, Admiral Nakamov, and Peter Veliki. The lead ship of the class, Kirov, named Admiral Ushikov in 1992, was laid down in June 1973 at Leningrad's Balti Sky Naval Shipyard. It was launched on the 27th of December 1977 and commissioned on the 30th of December 1980. Currently only one of these, the Peter Vilecki, is active and is serving as the flagship of Russia's northern fleet. Modernization of Admiral Nakamov is ongoing with trials to start in 2020. The modernization of Peter Vilecki is expected to immediately follow. The Kirov class is pretty large. It has a length of 252 meters, that's 827 feet. To give an idea, a Nimitz class supercarrier has a length of 332.8 meters, or 1,092 feet. Kirov class displaces 28,000 tons when fully loaded. This makes it the largest and heaviest surface combatant warship currently active in the world, if we exclude the aircraft carriers and amphibious assault ships. Like many Soviet weapons platforms, the Kirov class was designed to be robust and is thought to be capable of absorbing many hits without going down. It has strong protection in vital parts like a 76 mm plating around reactor compartment. The ship's propulsion system consists of two kilonewton three nuclear marine propulsion with two GT3A688 steam turbines that drive two shafts. The system delivers 140,000 shaft horsepower, which is enough to propel the warship to a maximum speed of 31 knots. Since it's nuclear-powered, the ship technically has unlimited endurance and range. The class has Voschgood MR-800 top pair search 3D radar on the foremast and Frigate MR-710 top plate 3D search radar on the mainmast. Two palm frond navigation radars are also present. Horse jaw LF hull sonar and horse tail VDS variable depth sonar is available. The Kirov class has seen many changes in the weapons configuration since its inception. The current package includes the following P700 granite missile for anti ship roll. The class can accommodate 20 of these. 
P-700 is a pretty large missile, and hence the warship have special cells on the upper deck which are mounted at a 60-degree elevation for these missiles. The missiles can be launched in salvo mode, where the lead missile follows a high flight trajectory, while the other missiles follow a low-level flight path. The missile can travel at Mach 1.6 at low altitude and more than Mach 2.5 at high altitude. It has a range of 625 kilometers or 388 miles. It carries a 700 kilogram or 1,653 pound high explosive warhead. A single hit from the missile could cripple even an American supercarrier. For long range air defense, an S 300F missile complex is installed on the ship. It is basically the naval variant of land mobile S 300. The warship has 12 launchers and 96 vertical launch system to accommodate these. The system is thought to be capable of engaging targets flying up to a speed of Mach 8.5. The interceptor missiles are guided by the ship's radar in the initial and mid-course stage and also use its own infrared seeker for the terminal phase. It can take out incoming threats at a range between 5 to 150 kilometers. That's 3.1 to 93 miles and an altitude envelope of 10 to 27 kilometers or 6.2 to 16.8 miles For short-range air defense OSA MA is available The ship has two double launchers and 40 missiles This is integrated into the ship's combat systems, but can also function autonomously if required OSA MA has a range of 1.2 to 10 kilometers that's 0.75 to 6.2 miles at an altitude between 25 meters and 5,000 meters The Russians use the AK-130 naval gun turret which is of Soviet origin It was developed in the 1970s as a more capable gun turret than the earlier SM-2 as armament for destroyers and cruisers The AK-130 is the most powerful naval gun turret that remains in service the AK-130 is one of the few modern two-barrel gun turrets. Its single-barrel performance is similar to the American Mark 45. The ship accommodates as many as 10 533mm torpedo tubes for Type 53 torpedo. These torpedoes have a range of 22 kilometers or 13.67 miles and a maximum speed of 81 kilometers per hour or 51 miles per hour. Two RBU-1000 and two RBU-12000 rocket launchers are present for launching anti-submarine rockets of different kinds. The ship accommodates three Kamov KA-27PL helicopter. The Kamov-27 is a well-equipped platform for anti-submarine warfare and has surface search radar, sonar buoys, dipping sonar, and magnetic anomaly detectors. It can be armed with torpedoes, bombs, mines, and rockets. Because of the presence of three of these, one can remain in the sky at all time. This means that the warship continuously has a bird's eye view of its surroundings. A Russian Ministry of Defense has stated that it wants to modernize the Peter Vilecki and Admiral Nakamov. A significant upgrade is expected and will feature new components like advanced sensors as well as the integration of several new armaments The ship's anti-air arsenal is supposed to receive a major enhancement with a navalized version of the feared s-400 Triumph air defense system being installed of the current s-300 F s-400 is significantly better compared to s-300 when it comes to engagement range and concurrent interception capability the 20 cells for P-700 Granite anti-ship missiles will be replaced with 10 VLS modules of the UK-SK versatile ship-based launch system. Each of these modules has 8 cells, so a total of 80 cells will be available. These will be used to accommodate anti-ship and land attack variants of Caliber Family Cruise Missile. This will greatly improve the warship's offensive capability. But this may not be it. The warship could also possess a knockout weapon after the upgrade. This is the hypersonic Zircon anti-ship missile that's supposedly in testing. 
As per President Putin's address in the Russian Federal Assembly, the Zircon is capable of reaching speeds of Mach 9. This will make it almost impossible to intercept. Mr. Putin stated that the missile has a range of over 1,000 kilometers or 620 miles. The missile could be equipped with a high explosive warhead or even a tactical nuclear warhead. There is no doubt that Russia's Kirov class supersized nuclear cruisers are charismatic warships, but the subsystems and weaponry are dated. If the proposed plan for upgrade works out, then it will have two very potent warships in its navy whose offensive firepower will be a concern for even the mighty U.S. carrier strike groups. But it will not be an easy task. Some reports have suggested that the nuclear reactors in the two warships need extensive work may even need to be replaced completely. The Russian economy is strained and its ability to finance these kind of projects is suspect. It remains to be seen how things pan out in coming days. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.